here. Why did I do a quick video for you today about um, one of my absolute favorite products? It is the Perfectly Potato Cheddar Soup Mix. And um, many of you probably know that Tastefully Simple always has a few soups in our catalog. The potato cheddar is standard, so it's available all year long. And this is such a versatile product. So I wanted to um, point out to you how you can use it in so many different ways. So for today, we're making it for lunch. And all you need to do to prepare this product in the very simplest form is you add six cups of water to your pan, pot, I should say. Try to do it without making a mess like I just did. And then you're going to dump the contents of the soup package directly in there. You don't even have to heat the water first. Just throw it right in. And you're going to just mix this up with a whisk and throw it on the stove and let it simmer. So the directions say to let this simmer for 30 minutes. Um, however, if you like thick, creamy soup, I always suggest letting it simmer longer. I personally like to let my soup simmer for about an hour because I like it real thick and chunky. And the potatoes get really soft then. Um, and that's just the simplest way to make the soup. So it's super easy. Just add water and simmer. Um, but if you want to get a little creative or you want to make it a little bit more substantial, there's a variety of other things you can add to the soup. Um, so today we decided we're going to add some canned chicken. Um, if you have any leftover chicken from your meal the night before, you can also add that to the soup. Um, leftover vegetables, just go run through your refrigerator and see what you have. You can throw it in there. just makes it a little bit heartier. Um, we actually found in the cabinet some diced green chilies, so those are going to go in as well. And then once it is cooked, um, you can add some cheese as an extra little bonus on top. So maybe a little bit of cheddar, or we had some smoked gouda we're going to throw in. Does that sound good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> My peanut gallery thinks it sounds good. <laughs> and as an extra little touch, the bacon bacon is delicious, just sprinkled on top of the soup. So you can actually cook it with the bacon in there if you want the bacon to be soft and you just really want that flavor. Or when it's done cooking, you can just sprinkle a little bit on the top with your cheese. Delicious. Totally mouth-watering. So don't forget about our soups. Um, coming in our fall winter line, coming back, is going to be the creamy wild rice soup. This is one of our standard, our seasonal standard products. So it comes back every fall. I know this is a favorite of many. Same way, just add water and simmer. And another thing that I like to do um, when I'm making our soup, just to make it kind of a little special for lunch or dinner, is make something to go along with it. So the perfectly Parmesan biscuit mix uh, is what we're doing today. So we're going to have some nice cheesy um, Parmesan biscuits to go alongside with our soup. So if you love that idea and maybe you're looking to make dinner, you can also make casseroles. There's a variety of recipes on our website. Um, you can use the soup bases um, to also make pot pies or chicken al king, a variety of different potato dishes like scalloped potatoes. Um, I think there's an au gratin potato recipe on there. So be sure to check it out. Um, the same thing goes with the Parmesan biscuit mix. Lots of different variations on the website. So be sure to take a few minutes, print out a few, um, post some comments on the website. We always love that. And have fun. Thanks a bunch for watching the video.